All right, including Woke Didier filling us in on some of the happenings at the World Bank and IMF Spring meetings. We expect more reports. The IMF meetings are still ongoing and we'll be bringing you updates from that event. Now, moving on, key players in the extractive industry have advised the Nigerian government to leverage on the beneficial ownership provisions so as to ensure that companies that hide do not exploit and corrupt the industry. This was during a policy dialogue on utilization of beneficial ownership information on crude oil swap deals in Nigeria. Three years ago, the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, revealed a plan to end the country's oil for fuel swap system as soon as local refinery capacity improves by 2023. The deal has been on since 2016. The crude for product swap, a direct sale, direct purchase mechanism put in place to get Nigeria's for requirements. This policy, according to some key players, are not foolproof. This transaction put the country on the edge in terms of piling debts. I never guaranteed that imports of refined products came handy to meet domestic demand. It is 2023 already. But the refineries are still not working. The authorities promised to come up with transparent modalities to sell the country's crude, one of which is the beneficial ownership register, a mechanism that is meant to encourage transparency and stop the financial bleeding in the country. How do we situate this entire conversation within the context of a rapidly unfolding energy transition, which appears to be leaving Nigeria behind with such a huge package of governance issues related to fossil fuel extraction? The NNPC is also said to have cut down on its transparency drive since the PIE came into existence. The committee set up to fast track the implementation of the act is yet to swing into full action. What we find now is that some of those information that we could easily find on their website, especially since they signed on to the EIT as a supporting company, you no longer can find uh, that kind of uh, information. This policy dialogue is aimed at sharing data and analytical insights on Nigeria's crude oil swaps with a view to closing identified gaps and addressing corruption rigs in the deals to mitigate the country's financial losses. Mwesi Igono, AIT News, Abuja.